so I ordered 24 of these little 4-inch LED lights to replace all my existing recess lighting. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that once you install them and power them on that you can be seen from space. Alright, so I'm going to show you three very simple ways to reduce the glare on these lights without having to install a dimmer. I'm going to be using bleach parchment paper, Phillips head screwdriver, duct tape, pair of scissors, and these customizable softening sheets that I got off Amazon. Now, I'm almost positive these are going to work the best because there's a baby and see the baby, the baby's not happy because the light's too bright and I understand that. But then look, you put the sheets over and the baby's happy. And it's like, that's like a miracle. I can't believe that. So these sheets must really work. Well, we're going to give them a try. Okay, let's get to it. For this first light, we're going to take our Baby Don't Cry softening sheets and cut a piece the same width as the light. This looks about right. So I happen to buy these square slimline lights but they come in round as well. Okay, you now I'll just peel this off and line it up. And you want to press down firmly all around and smooth out any bubbles. So there we go. Baby tester done. Now our second one, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to pull this apart, but we'll have it back together in two minutes. After you remove the screws, lift the back plate off. Right. And here's what we're dealing with. We have three layers in here. The first layer is basically just a laminated piece of paper. And then we have a thin plastic diffuser and then a thicker piece of plexiglass. And regardless of the brand of light you may have, all these slimline designs are basically the same. Most of them are made in the same factory and just given different names from different companies before being brought out into the marketplace. Taking a look inside here, we can clearly see our LEDs or light emitting diodes. So these little yellow diodes produce 95% light and only 5% heat. All right, now that we have this apart, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our laminated paper because this, in theory, is actually what makes the brightness of the light. The diodes produce the light, but the light reflects off this paper and shoots down into the room. So what we need to do now is tweak the color of this paper. And the way we do that is with duct tape. So we'll take a piece off the roll and stick it on. Remove a second piece, line it up as best we can, this is where the scissors come in, alright, so now we're going to put this back together. We slide in our diffuser, drop in our plexiglass, and then take your piece with duct tape and make sure that it's facing down. Replace the metal plate and screw everything back together. Just to let you guys know, I will put a link to the lights that I'm using uh, in the description below, as well as the Baby No Cry softening sheets. You'll be able to pick up some duct tape and some parchment paper just about anywhere if you don't already own some. But out of these three tests, the softening sheets are by far the most expensive, setting you back about 20 bucks. Now with our third light, this is the one we're going to use the parchment paper on. For this one, we're going to need that thin plastic diffuser. And what we're going to do is take our parchment paper and cut off a strip. Use the diffuser as a template and cut around it. After we have it cut to size, slide our diffuser back in and place the parchment paper on top.
Then reassemble the other pieces. Put the plate back on and once again screw it all back together. So there we go, we have our parchment paper, we have our duct tape, and we have our baby no cry. So now I just need to reinstall all these lights and see how they do on my lux meter. Alright, got them reinstalled. So we have our parchment paper, our duct tape, our baby no cry, and over here I have an original unmodified light to compare against. I have a lux meter app on my phone that uses my camera to get its readings. First light we're testing is the parchment paper. And we get a lux reading of 963. The next light we're going to test is the the duct tape. All right. We get 509. Right. Next one is baby don't cry. 598. And now for our original unmodified light. Oh, a whopping 1206. All right, well, looking at the numbers here, with the unmodified light coming in at 1206 on the lux meter, the parchment paper came in next at 963, which is roughly 80%. I would say that it wasn't all that discernible by my eyes, so I would say that you'd have to add another two or three layers of the parchment paper to really bring that glare down a bit more. The Baby Don't Cry came in at 598, which is about 50%, and I could notice that quite easily. And then there was the duct tape at 509, which is only 40%, which brought it down even more. It almost seemed a little too dim to me. So um, maybe the, uh, the Baby Don't Cry was right. You know, I mean, there's a reason why that baby's not crying. Anyway, that's three very simple ways to reduce the glare on your LEDs without having to install a dimmer. Well, I hope you got something out of this video, and if you did, you know, please consider subscribing. On the other hand, if you found the sound of my voice annoying, like, like my wife does, uh, I get it, you know, I get it. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch, and I... I hope to see you again, so until then, please stay safe.